Memories, and what we will never be. Today was the worst day of my life. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Losing Steve changes everything. He was my brother, my best friend, my twin. We planned to do so much together. He will never experience life like he had hoped. He will never have children, never get married. He won't go to college. He won't see graduation or prom. He won't wake up tomorrow and hang out with me. We've always had each other's backs, but this time I don't have his. I'm so sorry, Steve. I miss you. I love you. Goodbye. See if he wants to go. Alright. Alright, well, I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright, bye. Stupid answer, man. Ooh. Hello? Hey, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, we have a whole week off, right? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to finish it. Uh, probably just... Alright, well, me and the guys are going to a party. You want to go? Um, yeah, I don't know if Alexa would like that. Okay, alright, let's check this out. So, her friend's going, so she's going to be there. I mean, that's like your perfect time to ask her out to prom. I'll see. Yeah, I'll see. I, I, I'll even help you out. And I'll drop you back off at home too. All right, but do I have to bring Steve? No, all right. Either either way, I'll, I'm gonna pick you up in like 30 minutes, and then I'll, I'll take you home when it. All right. All right. So do you want to go? Yeah, sure. All right, bro. I'll be there in 20 minutes. All right. See you. John's thing. What John's thing? He's having this party. Did you already tell mom? No, why? Or aren't you gonna tell her? No. No? No, why should I? Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. Can All I right. go with you? No, just because we're twins and we have to do everything together. What are you talking about? I do everything with you. Okay, then you have to come. Let's go. Why don't you let me go? I mean, it's not my thing, but I guess you can come. Alright, let me just put this down. Let's go. Okay, all right, all right, all right, I'll be there right now. David, David, hey, David, hey, bro, you gotta wake up, you gotta wake up, come on. Hey, Steve, Steve, bro, hey, we gotta go, we gotta right go. Now? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get my brothers, I have to go watch my brothers. Oh. Come on, let's go, let's go, come on. Find, find my keys, who has my keys? Yeah, who has my keys? Oh, man. Look for my keys, look for my keys, They're right here. You got him? Oh yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, um, I, I can't drive. I can't drive. Oh, you can't? Uh, I, you need to drive for me, yeah? No, I can't. I'm so bad at it. 
I think David <coughs> didn't drink that much. So David, can you try, David? Yeah, I've never driven before. You know how to drive? No. no. We'll just teach him. Come uh, on. Come on, John. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta hurry. Come on. Let's, let's go. go. Hurry. Let's go. Come on. We gotta go. Let's go. Driving notes on homework assignment on my phone. I want to finish really fast. Yeah, I'll drive. It's a house practice. <laughs> it's the usual. We have a game this weekend, so we're just kind of getting ready for it. Oh, come on, you guys, hurry up. David, calm down. Dude, I Keep got going. it. Chill. Dude, you have to act like you're not drunk. You act as if it's my first time. It is your first time. What about prom? Um, I'm excited. I don't know what color dress I want to get, but I'm excited to go look. Who are you going with? I'm not sure yet. Probably just friends. Do you know who you're going with? I heard about you and David. Oh. Your foot was on the brake a second ago. Oh shoot, that was I a gotta break. pee! Dude, John, relax. He, he can't uh, overreact. Heather, no. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. The whole school is talking about it. Not the whole school. Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> All right. We gotta get there. You chill, you just overreacting like mom and dad are gonna get us in trouble. Or something. They are, they're gonna grab us for the rest of our life. It's just a one time thing. What are you, what project do you have to do? It's just for calculus. I'm just trying to finish typing it so I don't have to worry about it later tonight. Shut up, just keep driving. Stop yelling at me. I'm trying to. Hey, does this equation look right to you? Yeah, we should. I can yell at you because you're being. Watch out, watch out! Heather, watch out! Nine one one, what's your emergency? I I just saw a car accident on Costin and Eaton. On Costin and Eaton, are you involved? No, I was just driving by. Okay, do you know if there's any injuries? Somebody went through a windshield. I can't tell if they're okay. Someone went through a windshield? Yeah. Okay, how many vehicles are involved? There's two cars. Two vehicles? Okay, do you know if it's on Costin or on Eaton? It's on Costin. Okay. And what's your name? Deandra. They're not moving. They're not moving? Are you stopped or did you keep driving? I'm stopped. Okay. Yes, we're on our way, okay? Keep doing compressions. 
pause for a second. All right, we still got cardiac stance, so go ahead, continue, give another round of epi. You got it, Greg? Getting it, one milligram epi. Oh no, I think we saw some gray matter up there too. Yeah. And he was a GCS of three in the field. Yeah, it's not looking good. I don't know what else we could do. Let me check for pulse. Pulse check. No pulse. Nothing. No pulse. We got the time of death at 10:21. I'm going to talk to the family. family outside. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hi. I'm oh, Dr. Cease, you okay? I'm Dr. Mrs. Here. What do you know about what happened? Um, just that my brother, uh, he was drinking. Okay. And they crashed. Is he okay? Well, you know when the medics got to him that he didn't have a pulse. And his brain wasn't working. And we worked on him you know, for over an hour. We did everything that we could. We gave him blood. We put in the chest tubes, we put them on a breathing machine, and you know, we're really sorry, but Is that what I yeah. we did everything we could, but he didn't make it. Okay. Can I see him? Yeah. getting a social worker, okay? Someone that can help you call family. Are you the sister? You can't stand. Come on, please. I'm so sorry. You're all I have left. Come on, Steve. Can somebody get a chair and some Kleenex? Please, come on. can't do this. I promise. Come on. I promise I protect you, please. Come on, please. <laughs> Both of you, come on, Steve, please. <laughs> please. Come on, Steve, come on, buddy. You have to come on, push through, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's call your family, okay? You can have a seat right here. Just some tissue, okay? We'll get a hold of family, I'm sorry. At this time, we're going on the record in uh, the case of People versus David Sanchez. At this time, both parties have indicated that they have a desire to be heard. I've indicated that I will uh, begin by hearing from the prosecution. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, there are two victims of this crime uh, that would like the court to, to hear their victim impact statement. Would you like to hear that now? I think that would be great. Okay, thank you. You uh, come forward, sir.
All right, very good. I understand you were with um, you were with David at the time he was driving, and at the time that that his behavior resulted in the loss of life of two other people. Yes, Your Honor. You're in the same car as the defendant. That's correct, Your Honor. And he's one of your your high school friends. That's correct. And your condition now is that you're paralyzed from the waist down? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any chance of making a recovery from what the doctors have told you? No, Your Honor. And you were planning on uh, becoming a Marine? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any idea what you'll do with your life now that you've uh, lost the ability to walk? I have no idea, Your Honor. All right, at this time, why don't we have Heather and Jonathan take their seats again in the audience? All right, very good. Thank you, counsel. Mr. Albright. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Without question, what happened on that fateful morning was a tragedy. It was a tragedy that affected not just the people who died, not just these young people who are here in court today. It affected the entire community. And while we had two people who lost their lives, Nothing this court can do here today will ever bring those lives back here. My client, David, is going to have to live for the rest of his life knowing that he killed his best friend. He killed his brother, his twin brother. And that's all it was. It was a mistake, a horrible mistake, but a mistake nonetheless. And the prosecutor wants you to send this, this child to prison. Prisons are full of people who commit the worst, most violent, crimes, murderers and rapists, people who do deliberately violent conduct. He didn't intend to hurt anyone. He simply made the safest choice they felt they could do at that time. And what I'm asking this court to do is not throw away what remains of his life. All right, very good, thank you. This is, uh, under any circumstances, an absolutely devastating case uh, to our community. It is a total and absolutely uh, devastating loss to humanity. And it is a loss on all accounts. Uh, we've lost the lives of two children who had the opportunity to live very fruitful and productive lives, whose lives really never got the chance to get going. We have Jonathan here who will be disabled for the rest of his life due to the injuries that he suffered. And then there's David Sanchez, who is, in here, who is here in court today, and uh, his life, as he knows it, is effectively over, uh, whether I sentence him to a short period of time or a long period of time, uh, his life has been devastated as well. So you made the decisions of an adult, and you will suffer the consequences of an adult. And so your punishment for the death of Alexis Plazola is 10 years in state prison. Secondly, there's the punishment associated with your brother, Steve Sanchez. Uh, the law tells me that when there's a second victim that uh, you should be punished consecutively for the behavior and conduct related to that victim, and I intend to follow the law in relationship to that. Therefore, you will be punished to an additional two years consecutively, meaning you will do your 10 years, then you will do two more years for the death of your brother, Steve Sanchez. Thereafter, I will further punishing you to an additional five years in prison uh, for the great bodily injury enhancement associated with the permanent paralysis of Jonathan Mendoza. Uh, he is also a separate and distinct victim in this particular matter, which is the, the sad reality of this case, and therefore you will be punished separately as uh, to Jonathan Mendoza for an additional five years putting us at 17 years in state prison uh, for the punishment in this case. The final victim is Heather Pena. Uh, she is an additional victim in this matter who was injured, though not seriously. The law calls for a one-year consecutive sentence for a total of 18 years in state prison. And these are the orders of the court in this matter. Deputy, this, this defendant is hereby remanded.